All right, here is a walkthrough of the damage of a um, septic tank backup. Two o'clock in the morning, and this is what we have. So that room's okay. This room, though, and all this carpet will have to get ripped up anyway. Um, that's all the damage. That's what you're seeing is, is mainly carpet. Um, it's probably about a half inch, maybe an inch of standing sewage. Sewage is pretty well come up to um, lowest point in the floor and started backing up from there. Um, this this will give you an idea of how much inf how much fluid and stuff there is and where it went. Just to keep on record. Haven't been in this room just yet, but there is standing water, sewage, and everywhere. Let's see if I can turn on the light. There we go. Um, quite a bit of damage done. Um, a lot of this stuff is actually up off the floor, as you can see. Other stuff, not so lucky. The smell is actually surprisingly not as bad as a dirty, dirty diaper, but nonetheless, it's a mess. The source of the problem came from the downstairs bathroom. From that toilet and sink came up a little bit in the sink, but mainly from my gushing toilet. A uh, gentleman living here turned that off um, as best as he could and ran upstairs and called for help. Um, all this will end up getting all anew, and thank goodness for this that there isn't much, if any, damage at all. Um, nothing in the corner, nothing in that corner that I can tell. Um, just in this corner that was already there before I stepped there. And that should be it.